Markets have rallied. The VIX is calm, perhaps an amenable environment to new debuts into the public trading world. The latest is Zap, a two-wheel reinvented electric uh, vehicle. We've got the CEO joining us after a SPAC deal. Brings the shares of the public market trading under ZAPP today. Swin Chatsuan is a founder and chief executive officer at Zap. Swin, thanks for being here this morning. It's an honor and a pleasure to be with you. I appreciate that. Uh, tell us about your guys' product and your company. It looks pretty darn cool. Well, we're trying to sell fun. Um, mobility should be fun, and I think it's important to uh, start with that. Um, what we discovered um, when we came on this journey was how big the market was, and uh, um, that it's been hiding in plain view. The global two-wheel market is um, about the same size as the U.S. luxury car market and the U.S. pickup truck market, but mm. far less crowded. Um, there's a lot of basic transportation being sold in China in the local market, but actually the incumbent motorcycle companies have really not done anything substantial um, in the market worldwide, in Europe, um, in Southeast Asia, and um, in the biggest markets of all, India. So we identified an opportunity there, and we had a team of people that knew how to develop a new product, and um, the result is as you see on the screen there. Is this uh, fully electric, all of the models? Yes, it is fully electric. Um, uh, electric is very relevant in, um, in motorcycles because there's no real room to do a hybrid. How much does it cost? It seems like there's a range of, and you're UK based, the company, and it, uh, so yes. the numbers I see in pounds uh, between like six and a half and 10,000. Yes, correct. Um, the bulk of the range is the basic um, recycled plastic bodied um, version, which is in the six to 7,000 pound range. And uh, we move up from there to the, uh, the Super Ocean, which is a ocean recycled PET product. Uh, and then to the full composite bodied ones, which use a hemp composite, and then a no oven, no autoclave carbon fiber composite, uh, and they take you more towards the 9,000 range. But all are upcycle or recycle components, and that speaks to our determination to create a Gen 2 sustainability product, not just a zero emission product, hmm. but more than that. Cool. Uh, how far does it go on a single charge? Well, there's the sweet part. Um, we use two very small uh, portable batteries, um, and they weigh about 12 pounds each. And you can pretty much take them anywhere and plug them into any domestic socket. So um, that gives you a great amount of flexibility because you're not reliant on the infrastructure. Um, mm. Nevertheless, um, both batteries will take you about 60 kilometers, or call it 40 miles. Um, and like I say, you can, you can take the batteries with you. So uh, a more fun way to say it is that the range is infinite because you can take the batteries out and plug them in anywhere. Hmm. How long does it take uh, uh, well, the batteries to charge? Okay, so we offer two kinds of chargers, uh, a lightweight charger, um, and that takes about an hour to go from 20 to 80%. And then we have a fast charger, which takes about 40 minutes to go from 20 to 80%. Hmm. The uh, market, it feels like uh, a very European uh, vehicle, you know, just kind of the image of the smaller streets and uh, it looks like, uh, uh, you know, a new age uh, kind of uh, moped meets bike. Uh, do you uh, find the American market receptive? What are your goals in terms of uh, expanding the reach? Um, it's a global product, but uh, as you mentioned, um, the U.S. may not quite be ready to transition to two-wheel as a main form of uh, transportation yet. But certainly in, in uh, South Asia, in Southeast Asia, which means Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Philippines, Taiwan, very much um, uh, uh, maximum penetration there already and uh, just looking for more value based product propositions rather than um, price-based propositions. Europe, of course, um, the bulk of the products there range between five and 15,000 euros, um, and um, uh, most looking to rotate to electric now due to legislation as well. Hmm. How many do you have ready to sell uh, versus reservations? It looks like they're available for reservations. What's the wait list look like right now if I punch the button on one online? Okay. Um, it's running at about two months. 
um, but I can't I can't promise that these things um, uh, need to be a bit um, flexible. But we are in production now, and I think that's an important point to make to your viewers that um, you know this is not a prototype. You can buy them, and we are selling them right now. And um, we use a contract manufacturing system, um, and uh, a lot of the blue chip suppliers globally, like Michelin, and um, they're then shipped straight to your home after you've uh, made the commitment on the website. And uh, are you shipping, it sounds like you obviously have global ambitions. Uh, where are you shipping right now? Um, we're shipping only to Europe in phase one, which okay. will take us through to the end of this year. Um, obviously, we, we are one of the other things that we are promising is a high quality um, customer experience. And you can't do that without close contact. So we will do it continent by continent. So hopefully phase one is Europe, phase two is Southeast Asia, phase three is India, and then phase four is um, North America. Um, financially, where are you right now and how does the, the, the SPAC debut in the public markets help you? Do you have um, uh, enough cash on hand to uh, achieve each of those uh, regional milestones that you mentioned? Or what do you expect in terms of having to raise capital going forward after this? Okay, um, obviously the, uh, the SPAC merger was uh, challenging, um, but with that, um, one of the most important things even prior to the decision to go listed was to make sure that our working capital was in place. Um, we are using contract manufacturing. Um, it's a balance sheet like model, um, which is a new phrase that people are starting to hear more. Um, but what it means basically is that the capex is on, the onus of the capex is on the contract manufacturer, not on us. So principally, we design, we develop, we deliver the product, but we are not investing in the tooling, the factories, the plant, um, or um, the um, CKD, the components that are used to put the bikes together. That's done for us by the contract manufacturer. And alongside him is the Export-Import Bank of Thailand. Um, we're using Thailand as a hub. It's a very well-established um, automotive, both cars and motorcycle manufacturing hub and um, the, the, the infrastructure is there, and um, the working capital is supported by the Exim Bank of Thailand. Mm. So the, uh, the, the downside then would be that you, you don't specifically control all the parts and supply chain yourself. The upside being that as a business, you should operate on generally a higher margin. Is that a fair description? Almost, uh, thank you for that. Um, yes, uh, we, we, won't, we won't be running any CapEx but we do control the quality of the flow. So we have a direct relationship with the suppliers. Um, our parts are curated by us and submitted to the contract manufacturers. And then the completely built up units or CBU is then exported to our customers. So that, that, that is the way we can control the technology and the quality of the, uh, of the end product. Okay, uh, so when, uh, let's definitely be in touch. Very exciting uh, a product company for us to follow. I think it's uh, certainly a, a market that deserves some reinvention. So uh, very cool to see it happening. Appreciate the insight. Great, thank you. Absolutely. Swen so Chatsuan is the founder and CEO at Zapp. And that's the ticker, Z-A-P-P, -P, with a debut here in the public market. Might have to wait a little bit to get one here in the U.S., but give it time uh, for us to uh, adjust to the uh, moped model anyway. All right, I uh, definitely want to cruise one around in uh, Italy though. That'd be pretty sweet. Maybe the streets of London on the Zap looks pretty cool.